Hey, so you just got your Apple Watch, or you're considering getting one. How do you make it work? There are a lot of different buttons and features on this. It may get a little confusing. I've been using one for a while, and here are my five go-to gestures to survive on the Apple Watch, with a few more at the end. One, swipe down. This brings you to notifications, just like on your phone. You can look at all the messages you missed and click any one of them to find out more. Two, swipe up. This brings you to glances. Glances are little widgets that operate like little mini apps on the Apple Watch. You can use this like an app dock. Click any one of them and you can go to the full-sized app. It's a great shortcut. You can set it up in settings. Three, the click. The digital crown, which is like that little scroll wheel on the side, also clicks. And that's basically your home button. Click on it to get out of any app, to go back to the grid of apps, or to go back to your watch face. Four, click and hold for Siri. The digital crown, if you click and hold it, will bring up Siri and will be ready to listen for what you require. You can use all the Siri type of requests from your phone and there are also the ability to launch apps within the Apple Watch, which can be a real time saver if you don't know where that app is. You can also just raise your wrist and say, hey Siri. Five, force touch. This has a force sensitive touch display this is on the new MacBooks too, on the trackpad. If you press and push in, you can actually get to submenus and customization features on many apps. It's not always consistent, but you can get to settings like shuffle on the music app and more. Got those? Well, there are actually a few more that I consider go-tos too, so I'll throw them in. One is clicking the bottom button. That brings up your friend wheel. So if you wanna call somebody, send a message, it's essential for an easy way to reach your friends. Take that same button and double click it and you bring up Apple Pay. That's how you pay for something at a store, just like your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. If you take that same button and click and hold it, that's basically your power button. You're gonna be able to power off your watch or go into a power reserve state, which shuts down all functions except for showing the watch face. To get back out of that, you gotta press and hold that button again to reboot. The digital crown double click. If you double click that digital crown, it takes you back to your last opened app. Just double click and you can actually hop back and forth between your watch face and the app. And finally, you can always cover the watch. Just put your palm over it. If you're in an app and you want to get back to the watch face or if the phone's ringing or if something's happening you want to get out of, put your palm over it, hold for a second or two, you'll be able to turn off all sound and get back to the beginning when you tap. Follow a few of those gestures and hopefully you'll survive. Those are my go-to gesture tips on the Apple Watch. For now, I'm Scott Stein at CNET.